Hey, it's JC, and today I'm doing something different. Um, I'm out shooting a review, um, something I've been meaning to do for a while, um, and it's the Mad China Cron. That's right, see that? 35mm f2. I'm uh, just gonna put it through its paces and see how it goes. It's gonna go out and shoot with the M9 because it's the only M mount that I've got and see how it goes. It's super hot out today. Um, feels like 100 degrees for my American friends. It's probably about 30 for my everyone else. So a lot of people would suggest why bother buying a non like a lens if you've got a like body. But nay, if you can get a lens this good, it's 300 bucks, do it and do it fast. Um, these things are pretty, pretty good. Some might say they're rotten, but I thoroughly disagree. I think it's a really good lens. Um, it's just as good as the summer that I used to have. Um, maybe better because it costs about 1500 bucks less. Um, yeah, I would thoroughly recommend it. Um, give it a go. And even if you don't like it, sell it on eBay for the same amount you bought it for and you haven't lost anything. Really, um, it's a really, really nice little lens. Um, give it a go. You probably won't be disappointed. Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. No! The Righteous Brothers. She my groovy little baby. Little looping. So while there was nothing decent to shoot today, I found this. Somehow I always seem to find abandoned shit, and this one is no exception. It's an old petrol station thing, and so shoot around, see if we find anything good. To the test. Is this a lens you should buy? Yes, because it's hella cheap and it's probably as good, if not better, if not the same, really, as a Leica lens. And as much as I love them, as much as I fanboy over them every day, let's be honest, let's be honest, they're so expensive. And if you don't have two and a half to three grand to five grand to spend, then 300 bucks for the China Cron is really good. So in terms of size, it's about the same-ish as the summer, um, and it's even cheaper. It's a little bit bigger than my Minolta 40 mil, but it's not bad. So, if you don't know anything about rangefinders, it's easy and you don't have to worry about it and it's cheap. So, am I recommending this as a good first time shooter? Yes. Am I recommending this to replace a summer cron? No. But, you're probably not buying this if you already got a summer cron, if you know what I'm saying. That's it. Uh, give me a 
like, give me a subscribe if you enjoyed this. Um, I might even do some more reviews. And that's about it from me. Later.